Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, behave. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me Cupid with a bow and arrow, behave. Day 26, wow, day 26 in the 30 day tarot challenge let's get started stick around end of the video there's always an extra bonus reading it's after sagittarius and a motivational talk who's coming and who's going all right so we're asking about who's coming and who's going in your love life cap sorry for shaking this i was going to curse but i need this video to process quickly um wow fantastic energy okay listen i knew i saw like i saw the moon so you've got a lot of major arcana cards this is unusual very un oh here we go capricorn the show off just because i start with you now all of you just want to take up all the good luck and charm but let me just tell you this summer is hot for you who's coming and going yeah look at that sun You've got somebody here who's like an influencer, celebrity, somebody of that sort, somebody who's a bit mysterious showing up, um, somebody you don't expect, somebody who's, you know, slightly well-to-do, comes from a good background showing up. Um, you're more bringing in than you're letting go, if I'm honest. I mean, if they, let me see. who. Okay, whom are you letting go? Who's going? Yeah, okay. It's saying you're not letting go. Look at that. Four of Pentacles. Here we go. Tarot Alexa. Not Alexa, but Tarot Alexa, because it's my assistant. When I ask it a question, it just gives me a sassy answer. I said, whom are you letting go of? I say, you're letting go of nobody. You see how you break your own self down with these five of pentacles here? You say to me, oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. Oh, please give me somebody new. No, you're supposed to be doing that, manifesting magician card. But a lot of you, the cards are telling on you. They're saying you're still holding on to something or someone. Look, oh, you just, look, this just messed up the reading right here. I told you fives are never great in tarot. You've got five of pentacles, five of wands. You've got four of pentacles. This is holding in and holding back or holding on to something that breaks you, that depletes you. So a lot of you still have not done some spring cleaning, summer cleaning of old energy. Somebody who, you know, still owes you an apology or some of you still holding on to a grudge. Like, you know, it's breaking you to hold on. Just FYI, if you have anything else lingering, it's breaking you to hold on because there's somebody whom uh, you're wishing on, right? That maybe you don't even know about. Yeah, that person, look at the contrast. Come on. You can't even compare these two. Five of Pentacles with King of Pentacles. This is depletion, poverty, you know, brokenness. This is wealth, resourcefulness. Um, it's just really abundant. So it's really for your case uh, you're going to have to make a decision because the cards are really telling you it's either you're going to let go of any past energies and really believe in yourself, have the confidence to release what is old and take a new leap forward to what is new, even if it's a person, place or thing. Yeah, I guess some of you are just really confused right now, getting mixed signals, mixed messages. And, you know, the Seven of Cups is really all about, you know, options, being slightly confused not really having that focus, especially with this nine of swords here, just up at night, really worried about something. But look at this. You can't make this stuff up. I just told you that you have to release to do what? Get this. You see this bling? This is king and queen of pentacles. They are a very powerful couple. This is so much better for you. Even if it's work, even if it's moving, even if it's family, something here is so much better for you. And they're saying that you are blocking it. You see? You see this manifestation? That's what you should be doing. You are blocking it right? Because of ego and pride and holding on to something that either, you know, has shown you itself to be depleted, whether it's your surrounding or a person or place or thing, you're holding on instead of letting go. This summer, they're trying to introduce to you something. You see the sun, they want you to thrive. Okay. You keep something here. You're, you're not over it yet. And it keeps fluctuating, going in and out. But it gives you passion and you feel like you have a point to prove. You don't have to prove anything. Okay? You need to be free so that you can... Look, commitment wants to meet you. Um, tradition, society, all those things are trying to come to you. But they're saying that something is blocking it. I think you're still... Some of you are still in love with somebody who has walked away, trying to move on from that. You know, you want them... Somebody, you want some of them to, in time, come and clear the air and tell you, Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But the universe is like, you don't have time. Look what's coming. 
much more manifestation. King and Queen of Pentacles, focus on that cat. All right, darling, stick around, end of the video. Stick around, end of the video. After Sagittarius, there's always a bonus extra reading for all signs, uh, as well as motivational talk. Aquarius, who's coming? And who's coming and who's going in your life this summer? Um, let's have a look at your love life. Hmm. Okay, listen, I think you had some quarrel or beef with someone where that person made you feel a bit small, honestly. Like, you don't have to prove yourself. Yeah, because this is defensive energy. And that person triggered some abandonment wounds. Like, there's somebody in your life, like, whom when you're with them, they make you remember things that you thought you left behind. Like, when you were when you were kind of sad when you were younger, things that made you sad and insecure, this person brings out that same feeling. And I don't think you like it. So I think you have to really think about whether or not you actually like or love this person as much as you think you do, because they make you feel insecure, like as if you're not enough or something. Some of you met this person at work. Others of you have been working on this person <laughs> for a while now um and others of you are like listen i don't have anybody but i do feel insecure it's po possibly insecurity about looks or weight or money there's a bit of a, an imbalance here so this is talking about you know it's a brand new beginning in love so it's not a bad card but i think most of that love has to go to you first okay you keep yeah i don't know i mean i hate to say this but some of you I do get a little bit of envy of other people's success showing up, you know? It's like you're spying on how other people are looking. You see how this page is spying on this beautiful queen of wands, the action taker. It's either how they are looking or how they are doing. Wands is action energy. And, um, you know, for some of you, somebody is spying on you, quite frankly. That's just a spycraft card. Either way, wow, unbelievable turn of events. The king of wands has come to meet his queen. When he shows up, it means that, you know, that confidence that some of you have been lacking lately, you will find it. Who is this king? Is this somebody new coming or somebody going? Who is this? Ooh, what? Oh, sookie, sookie, sookie. All right. Now we're talking, Aquarius, shut me up. Look at that. You built yourself a throne of fire and now you'll be the envy instead. That's what the cards are saying. Soon enough, you'll soon be wed. This is the marriage card. For those of you who've bled and bled, enough to be said, you'll soon be wed. This is the marriage card, king of wands, queen of wands. All of this is fire energy blazing around you. And, oh, love. Oh, oh, look at that sun card. So it's saying this summer, uh, you're going to have a lot on your plate, a lot to think about. There's somebody coming, slowly approaching you. I think it's a shakeup that's going to happen. Okay, so listen, this person that you've been in and out with in your energy that makes you feel weird. I don't really like that person personally because I just feel like somebody in your life puts you in defense mode. Hey, maybe it's a platonic person. I don't know. But that person just like makes you feel yucky like the way you did when you were younger, like when you didn't quite have as much confidence. So suddenly something is going to shake up in your life in time. And that, I think that person is going away. You're clearing that person out. Wheel is turning. And I think you're going to feel slightly lost, slightly independent, single, slightly overthinking things. But guess what? In time, you have the lover's card. That's a soul connection. That's not just any connection. Somebody here, at first you meet them. I do think this is somebody who's going to admire you. And this person is going to help you build back up your confidence with what love, talking to you differently, a different tone of voice, not this argumentation stuff that you've been so used to. It's like pressing a clean state. Boop. Yeah, this is referring to, this is referring a lot to communication, queen of swords, energy, queen of communication. So I think somebody is going in your life who doesn't know how to communicate properly and makes you feel insecure. And this summer, you, a lot of you have a chance to meet your soulmate, lover's card, sun energy, the queen meeting his, his I'm sorry, the king meeting his queen, doesn't matter your gender or sexuality, uh, possibly somebody at work or somebody who just maintains a very steady job. This is a lot of stability, eight of pentacles with the four of wands energy, absolutely beautiful. Let's look forward to it, Aquarius. 
Stick around, end of the video, there's always a bonus extra reading as well as a motivational talk at the end of every video. Pisces, welcome to day 26 of my 30-day tarot challenge. Let's see who's coming and going in your love life this summer. Who's, who's here to stay? Who's out of the way? Let's have a look, Pisces. All right, you've got, oh, what? Okay, baggage, heartbreak. Somebody you've been thinking about, I think they're, they're yeah, okay. So unfortunately for some of you, this is looking like you're not leaving the house. You're really, you're back. Look what you're doing to yourself. After watching my channel, I'm surprised that you're still doing this. Look, look at depression. Look what, you're just like not leaving the house. You see how many swords that you're pointing towards yourself, Pisces? Why are you so hard on yourself? Even after you watch my channel? Look, wait, look, look, why? Look, do you see this burden that you're carrying? Do you see how you're not leaving the house as much as you know you can? Just thinking to yourself all day, all day, hermit mode, depression mode. Uh, you know, wanting to use your voice, swords rule, a lot of communication, discourse, things of the mind, the mental energy. Ouch, I can even feel the pain. Look at the set of ten of swords. Why so many swords, darling? You're not even a sword sign. You're an uh, Pisces. You guys are water signs. My darling, what is going on? So this person has to go. I don't even care if the cards say, you know, but somebody that you're thinking about, you need to stop thinking about them. If they're going to do this to you, I don't like it. I don't like it. I thought I had already influenced you to take care of yourself. See? Look at Tarot Alexa. It's my handy ass assistant here. We don't, we don't call her or we don't call them my beauties. We don't call them Alexa. We call them Tarot Alexa because they're my handy assistant. I said, no, I don't want this for Pisces. Pisces, we have to change this. I know these are just tarot cards, but if you're feeling this way, no, no, no. I want you to really have a good summer. I don't want you to be down and inside. It's too hot. I don't want you to start feeling sad or not. Look at this. These are all terrible cards, except for this one, but still, it's still pointing to something caught in your throat. Yeah, you're just feeling so confused, lost, you know, like what's going on with my love life. See, you're stuck in the past. Six of Cups energy. Like you just like sit in your room and just like replay all the stuff from the past. Pisces, it's time. Look, I don't even care if your cards tell me it's not time. I'm going to make it so. <laughs> it's like, are you <laughs> trying to, are you reading or are you spelling? Okay, because we don't do spell. <laughs> we do reading. I just want to root for you though. I don't want you to be sad. Seriously, my darling. I want you to be happy. See, look, see, look at the potential of what's coming. Cards, can you just tell us quickly, is anybody like coming this summer that Pisces can have to look forward to? Because Pisces is just sad and, and, and stuck in the past, holding on to this dream, this soulmate, which is still great energy. But can we manifest that? This is a start. Some of you are working on yourself and are realizing that you need to. All right. Oh, more swords. Come on. Let's see. Let's try. Come on. Let's do it, Pisces. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. All right. Okay. So we're saying, um, you know, if all, oh, oof, thank God. Sorry. Sorry to shake the camera. I just got so excited because I was so worried. I don't want you to be in this space. I want this summer to be your summer of love. You know, um, it's saying that, you know, some of you might be guarded at first, um, because you've been down, you've not been feeling well, you know, you've been just alone. A lot of you sad solo. Look at this independence card. Right. Some of you are really sad because you're like, I don't think I'm going to meet somebody. I don't think I'm going to expand. So you just try to be strong by yourself, not telling anybody like just in your pain. And you're like, oh, I kind of give up because, you know, people are just in and out of my life. And I'm constantly fighting for myself, having to be strong strength card. But thankfully, the universe is saying that, like, yeah, it's recognizing some of you are really ruminating stuck in the past, thinking about people who have hurt you, carrying a lot of baggage and pain. And wondering when it will ever end, almost like wondering, hey, you know, this is depression showing up here and just being to yourself because you don't want to open yourself up and be hurt again. But the universe is actually saying, hey, listen, we know what your real wish fulfillment is. We know that you're feeling broken and depleted right now, five of pentacles energy. But by this time, the will turns. Guess what? All that wishy-washy energy, the doubting of yourself, defending of yourself, having to be strong by yourself, even if it, you're with someone 
being, uh, you know, confused in love, particularly, you will actually get out of this phase of depletion and you will manifest this, which is your soulmate energy, soulmate connection. This is also talking about the work that you have to do to get there. When you do get there, you will recognize this person because this is somebody approaching you. It's a knight approaching you. When you see this person, you will know it's them. Why? Swords energy. Swords energy points to communication, okay? This person uses their voice. Look at King and Queen of Swords. These are divine counterparts. They are a couple. They don't like to separate. So you will know who your person is because that person talks, okay? They don't leave you there to wander by yourself in the dark. This person is a talker, communicates, and, and has you intellectually before anywhere else, okay, darling? Stick around, guys. End of the video. There's always a bonus extra reading for all signs as well as a motivational talk. If you're new here, press the Schnookums button. That's the subscribe button but i'd like to say hello to my existing schnooks we're trying to see who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer aries this is day 26 of our 30 day tarot challenge my 30 day tarot challenge i should say welcome schnooks this is schnookums land hello hello all right listen so there's somebody here whom you've been stuck on for too long and you believe that this person is somebody that you should stay stuck on because you've already developed feelings for them. And I think they're staying. This is the first sign. Trust Aries to be different. I think I think they're staying. I don't. This is not. Show me. Show me. Show me my handy assistant. Not Alexa, but Tarot Alexa. Show me. But I think they're staying. OK, possible change. Wheel of Fortune. But I have to see more. This is not enough evidence for me. For you to start in this position, hanged man, plus nine, it's either you're going to be single or you're still going to be stuck, really still infatuated with the same person. But tell me more. Am I wrong or right, cards? Tell me. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. This is very tricky now because this is a marriage card and two of cups. Some of you, the reason... Oh, boy, this got complicated so quickly. The reason why you want... The person that you have in mind is because you still see them as marriage material or you are already married to them or you're dealing with somebody who is already taken or married now the thing is i have to know more about this hair font because it just got a little bit no i'm aries i know some of you want to watch a new reading but i i'm picking up energy that you haven't yet removed you're still looking them up. How can I do a reading for you about anybody coming when you don't want certain people to go? They're not going anywhere. Okay, some of you have tried. Okay, let me see. There's somebody, but there's still somebody in your energy. Who is that? Dealing with a Virgo. I don't like to say signs, but Virgo Taurus. I mean, I'm just saying, Sag. Just saying, Pisces, just saying. I don't say signs because it's, it's so silly. All these cards have different signs attached to them. And I pull out so many. Okay, yeah, so this is a potential new beginning in love. But I, I honestly just think it's with the same person. It's too close to call because Hermit is here as well. And Hanged Man. Mm, let me see. Oh, my God. What is going on? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Harry's like is holding on. Harry's is like, I want a new beginning, yes, but I want it with somebody I have in mind. For some of you, maybe there's a small few of you who are watching this, like, no, I want a new person. Beep, that's a restart button. Beep. So you've got two aces if you want a new person, that's great. But the argument here is so strong in favor of you still dealing with somebody who's already in your life. Because that person is your wish fulfillment, okay? Um, things have slowed down, yes, but it's like you don't want to open up to other people because you still have this person in your, in your wish fulfillment and you, you have a strength card, meaning you want to be strong and kind of wait. This is a lack of dynamism. Uh, nines are very solo numbers in tarot, but uh, this is the stress and burden you keep on yourself because you're waiting for this communication, you're waiting for an apology, and you're still spying on somebody that you're, you already know. For some of you, the, the, the wheel could turn and give you options. I could see that. You know, these two cards, this is literally saying a change happening, something turning, and this is an options card. But I th ultimately think you, 
you still have wishes for commit with for commitment with somebody you do know if for example this is not somebody you you know then great because this is marriage marriage and love and this is a new beginning in love and a new beginning and uh, it's all happening this summer right but if you i think in order for it to be a new person you have to take it a leap of faith you're the first sign i've read where it's saying yeah it's like you have to go out in order to change it but i don't think you will i think you're still here reading for the same person in fact, you're still checking up on them. That's what the cards are picking up today. You know, if that's not true, then hey, sorry. But uh, if it is true, the cards are really calling you out. They're saying, mm -mm. you're telling us you're moving on, but you, you haven't. You're still, this is what you need to do is move on. And if your relationship is fine, fine. But you're sticking with somebody. It's not, it's not somebody new, Aries. Anyway, all right. Who's coming in? Who's going, Taurus? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who's coming in? Who's going this summer in your love life? So juicy, right? Hello to my existing schnookums. This is schnookums land. Press the schnookums button. That's the subscribe button. I'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Day 26 of my 30 day tarot challenge. We're almost done. Listen, uh, I don't know who's coming and going in your love life, Taurus, trust you to have the I'm working card. <laughs> Taurus is like, I ain't got, look, do I look like I have time for my love life right now? Taurus is funny. I feel like pulling out something career related for you, but that's okay. This is, you see, this is the summer showing. Yeah, Taurus, <laughs> Taurus said, please run me my money. I have no time for these fools. You see, I just saw, I just said that. <laughs> You're funny. You are fu Taurus said, run me my coins. I have no time, but what do you, I'm just watching this tarot video because I'm bored. Taurus said, I need my abundance, my money. This is money. This is abundance. This is just proliferation. This is, oh, fertility, pregnancy, growth, everything to do with expanding. Uh, and on top of that, it represents both you and Libra in tarot. So you're very much like <laughs> no nonsense right now. Look at you budgeting. Be like, you know, because something, oh, you know, and something happened with your money too. So you have to be really careful. Like, yeah, like you had a sudden expense or something that you have to be careful about. Paperwork coming through, major, major purchase that made you kind of sad for a while. You're like begging now. Can somebody give me money? Because I don't, <laughs> I don't have time for, I don't have time for this. You will speak to somebody, okay? Uh, <laughs> But you're just really funny right now because I don't even know why you're watching tarot because you're like, listen, I, I, I need to get my finances in order and I need to. Yeah. So I don't know what happened here. It's coming out again, even after I shuffle, but it keeps talking about it. It's saying something happened with you, um, your lifestyle, some, some imbalance shook you up. You weren't prepared for it. And now you're like, okay, forget love. I don't have time. <laughs> I have my, my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Okay, so your wish fulfillment right now is a lot to do with um, action taking, abundance. Some of you want to get voted into something in your local council um, or work with your local council, your town over something, register for something, uh, build money again. Oh my God, you are so cheeky. Why are you doing this? Taurus is not, you're not giving love anything. I've pulled, look how many cards I've pulled, 10 cards and you're still not. Yeah, you're like, I have so much I'm thinking about. So listen, I do see somebody though. For those of you who want somebody, yeah, and I said that Tarot Alexa, not Alexa, but my assistant Tarot Alexa. Um, I, I did see somebody and 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 yeah, the cards pulled this person out. So this person is over here because this is a potential. Um, or this is somebody that you already know. Uh, somebody who will go in the trenches with you. Um, I think this person is very, very passionate, um, but I do think they come with baggage and could be mm, very independent, self-sufficient, kind of not as present this summer, but somebody you could manifest, right? This is a good, I think this is a good candidate, but this is somebody who's, yeah, I, I feel distance still, you know, between you and them. Um, because you've got some stuff to sort, maybe in our next reading, we can pick some stuff out, but right now I think you've just got too much stuff to st sort and you've got a betrayal issue here showing up in the seven of swords. Um, yeah, I think somebody is competing with somebody in your energy. I don't know who those two are, two kings showing up and you've got some heartbreak energy, 
Uh, but I think this is from that person that you're going to meet if you haven't met the person yet. This, for some of you, this is showing the past. Again, I think something in the past happened. Yeah, that was a bit injurious, but you'll build your money back up again. Um, and you'll sort things out by using your voice. Uh, a lot of you have somebody who is, this feels, I know I always tell you these are romantic counterparts, but this feels like your partner in crime to me. So you could be starting off with a friend first, especially this summer before it could burgeon into something else. Just FYI, okay? Stick around, end of the video, there's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading for every sign. It's usually after Sagittarius. This is Schnookums Land. Welcome to my existing Schnookums. How are you doing? Uh, hit the subscribe button. That's the Schnookums button. Gets you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Let's get started with day 26 of my 30-day tarot challenge. You know... Gemini, we're trying to find out who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer. And this is a desert. This is a hot mess, darling. What's going on? Um, stagnancy. You're still, okay. You're trying to sort some things out. Let's not be judgy. You're sorting some, oh, geez. What in the world? Who left you? Who left you by yourself like this? Or did you leave yourself by yourself? Something radical has to change. This is a marriage card showing up twice. So some of you are already married. Some of you are dealing with somebody who was married, is married. Um, and some of you, you're seeking love in all the wrong places. You have like mommy issues or daddy issues. There's something showing up here that's the problem. There's a problem here and it's coming from you. How do we get you, you know, to solve this? Can you tell us more about who's coming and who's going? Because Gemini is under a, a whole lot of, this is a whole lot for one person. You know, we're trying to find out who's coming and who's going this summer. And the cards are saying, ooh, Gemini has, has a lot to deal with. Mm, it's encouraging you to be strong, okay? Um, saying that this is, you didn't expect this shakeup. Oh, you feel used. Okay, so some of you got really, really in touch with your temper, huh, recently. Because I think you may have exploded on somebody. Yeah, like you had enough because you're like, am I being used? Am I being taken advantage of? Now you're stepping out on your own. Some of you are stepping out on your own in business. You'll need patience, okay, for it to grow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Something has happened here. No, something has happened here. Nine of Swords Tower, Three of Swords, yeah. Eight of Cups. It's pretty major, though. It's not like a small... Let's see. It's at work or... Hmm, somebody could have taken from you in a way that makes you feel used. But you know that you're going to rebuild, right? Do you not know that? See, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You're going to rebuild. Don't worry about it. Like, you're worried about something, even as you're watching this. Uh, it's a lack of stability and budgeting, as if you're not going to have enough money for something. Like, you're not going to have enough. You're broke. You're budgeting. Da, 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 da. You, that's what you think about 24 And you're so sad. No love here. No, zero. Zero. Nothing romantic. What happened? You're the first sign. Oh, do you need a hug? So blocked. Look at all your energy. Nothing for me to read. See? What do you want me to say? There's nothing here. Your cards are terrible. I think this is the first time I've had such a terrible reading for you, darling. You know why? Because you're stressed. And, you you know, there's something here. It's so old. You're still holding on to it. All it does is cause you conflict. You've tried to reconcile it a number of times. You've even tried to apologize. You know, somebody is guarded with you, blocked. Uh, you started to work on yourself. As you started to do that, it made you more inwards. Lack of dynamism showing up here. You've tried to walk away from the drama. When you do, it still makes you sad. You stay and think to yourself all by your lonesome. Up at night, not sleeping well. Hermit card showing up here. But you're still holding on to something, even though you've tried and you've seen that it's failed. The death card showed. The tower card showed. So it's a lot of chaos, a lot of turmoil. And it's not even allowing you to think about love in a way that is uh, fruitful. But in time, listen, we do have a prediction for you because temperance is coming up. You, in your strength, will start to seek people out who don't use you or whom you don't feel the need to use. There's an, there's an accusation here of somebody using somebody. 
Okay. And that needs to be resolved in resolving that you start to build your own confidence and attract more stability into your life, especially in terms of your connections, which sometimes have gone in and out. But I cannot say this summer that something new or different is happening. I think there's a lot to sort just now. And then soon, soon enough, finally, whoa, thank you, Lord, leaving you with this. Uh, this is the summer. Soon enough, a new beginning will happen. It will lead you to love, but not without you resolving all of this conflict. See the death card showing up again, Ten of Swords energy, telling me that you're in so much pain and it's too much chaos right now. Okay, darling? So work on that. Let's work on that. And then the next time the cards change, we can pull a different energy for you. Okay? Stick around. End of the video, everybody. There's always a motivational talk. It comes after Sagittarius uh, and a bonus extra reading. Oh, Cancer, you, your cards cannot wait to come out. Who's coming or going this summer in love for you? Already the sun is coming saying you're going to have a blast of a summer. Lucky you. In fact, even the sun is my summer card. So you've got already a nice kickoff. Here we go. All right. So something's on your mind. Um, okay. Quite literally, summer was in your mind because you were thinking to yourself, you probably just saw the title of this reading, you were like, wait a minute, I have that same question. <laughs> Who is coming and going this summer? Yeah. Ooh, wait, listen, I got Island. I got Island. I don't know what significance that is. Somebody, Hawaii, uh, Luau, something of the other belly dancing, something. Okay. I don't know whether somebody's from there or somebody's going there, but you've got this dance energy around you, salsa, moving of the hips and, you know, just uh, finally getting your just you in terms of even like the cards are saying, even if it means you just have fun this summer, we want you to loosen up because you have carried enough. You've carried enough. Okay. Um, brand new beginning, uh, but happens after... Something is made right. Yeah. After something is made right, then there's this brand new beginning. It's a, probably a new opportunity to talk and grow. Wow. Oh, this is a this is a pretty reading. It's talking about like it's talking about you having a dance, basically. Um coming out of your shell and this overthinking. And this hurt feeling that you got to do right by yourself, even if somebody doesn't give it to you. It's like you kind of clear the air with this Ace of Swords brand new beginning. You have a conversation that clears the air, even with yourself. And this is my self-development card that brings you, brings you into abundance and richness. This is a lot of stability and it's the maximal energy in uh, stability, love, uh, all of those things. So you have potentially a new beginning, but I like it because it's so grounded in you and yourself. Like, look at this manifestation. Oh, this is like, wow, it's pretty. Cause it's, it's not just about another person. It's about you. Look though, that other person is showing up. They're like, oh, don't forget me. I want cancer to know. I want cancer to know I am present. Um, so I see two things. There's somebody here who's a just a rabble rouser. Do you know what a rabble rouser is? A rabble rouser, Google it, is somebody who just, I'm sure their personality is so different from you. They love to incite a crowd and just rouse the rabble. <laughs> okay. And I, I think you've had enough of them and their madness. Their personality is a little too much for you. So that person does seem to be still here. And that's the cause of you being up like this. I think you're going to cut them off and walk away because you have a lot more going on for yourself. You have new things coming for yourself. But yeah, I can't help but say, I think this person is going to apologize to you. Say, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to be like, okay, let me think about it. But I think you're going to forget because it's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't have the same effect. Somebody does not have the same effect on you as they did in the past. Because you wanted to be with them long term, but they were wishy-washy. And then it just got boring and dry. You're like, you know what? Why am I giving all this for what? For what? I don't need this in my life. I could just do better. And, that, and you can. So this is you, the chariot, moving forward. You're manifesting something really good. I think of all the cards or signs so far, this is the most fun. 
because this is a cha-cha, this is a salsa, this is a, you know, two-step, this is all of that, this is twerk, okay, this is you twerking this summer, this is like a lot, like somebody is at a beach somewhere, you will have at least one of those days in the sun, and, uh, you know, I see you just living it up at least. Oh, you know what? I think it's your birthday season. No wonder. I was like, these are libations showing up. What is going on? A celebration or something? Yeah. And I think you will feel a lot like, you know what? I deserve this. That's what you will feel when you, when you, uh, have a look. I deserve this. That's why the justice card is showing up and, uh, work on that and work on yourself first. And see what happens when you step out and step away from that person who's going to try to come back. I think you're not going to have time for that person because you're going to find a new connection with somebody who is much more stable and into you. Your actual soulmate. Yeah, mm-hmm, I said so, mm-hmm. Stick around, end of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading. Hello, my Leos. Welcome to my existing schnookums. This is schnookums land and we will begin your reading here asking who is coming and who is going, Leo, in your love life this summer. This is so juicy. Oh man, it's been so juicy this whole time, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> Leo, hit the subscribe button if you're not one of us because uh, you need to, you know, put your energy on here if you know what I mean. Um, it'll give you free and easy access to my psychic interrogates. What's going on? What is this? What is this? Tower, three of wands. <sighs> Dead end. Anybody you're thinking about right now and spying on, you're wasting your time. Because you'll wait forever on that person to change. So it's either you're going to accept them the way they are or you just, this is forever waste. Okay, this will drive you mad, all right? You want to keep giving? You can. The cards are saying you can. Just just know that you're wasting your time uh, on somebody, right? You may have more than one person in mind, but if there's somebody here that you know you are wasting your time on, the universe is confirming it for you right now because you can be in a much better commitment. See this marriage card? If you are married to this person, please don't. I'm not trying to say the person is a bad person, but I'm saying that somebody here is wasting their time. And if you are dealing with somebody who's already married, you are wasting your time. Commitment can happen for you very suddenly this summer. Very suddenly. Tower card showing up and... <laughs> That's going to compete with a reconciliation. How are you going to choose, Leo? How are you going to choose? You know better, but let's see. Let's see if the cars will blow up your spot. Ooh. What? Somebody is insistent. Oh, boy. Leo, <laughs> you're going to fall for the okie doke. Somebody that you've been back and forth with, you've had arguments with, I think... That person is going to come to you and um, you guys are going to talk and I don't know. I see you reconciling with that person, darling. But it's going to come right back to conflict again. That's what I told you. I told you. I told you. My assistant told you. This is not Alexa, but Tarot Alexa. I, I told you and Tarot Alexa told you right in the very beginning. But you're like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine with this person on my mind. Tell me more about this person on my mind. No, I won't. But I can if you want me to. I just think this person's a waste of your time. Look, you're overthinking them. Okay, all right, fine, I guess. Anybody new? Please tell me. Is anybody coming? Because somebody's staying for sure. This is the person that you, yeah, you want to hold on to this person even when they've shown you that you are not a priority. Look at all these other people. Yeah, the threes, the interruptions. Mm, okay. Well, is that fair to you? The, the, uh, my Tara Alexa is asking you because this person makes you feel like this. Just like second best. Do you want to grow with them? Do you think there's potential or are you not seeing that there's anxiety here and that the, there's burden falling on you? Finally, I saw somebody. I was hoping somebody would come. Will is turning. There is a potential here, but I just don't, I don't see you seeing this potential person. Where will you meet this person? Is, the, is this person somebody you already know? Okay, work. Ace of Pentacles. That's work. This person has a good job. Very steady individual. I see them liking you. Somebody is interested in you. Why don't you want to look, Leo? See? You're not even looking. What are you doing? Leo, come on. Let's get this together. What are you doing? There's somebody who likes you or loves you or something. Why can't you see this person? Look, look, approaching you in love. Leo's like, no, I'd rather just sit and think. Leo, it's not a decision. Look, look at the decision you're trying to make. Oh, it's so hard. You know, you're chasing a ghost. I told you already. It's dead end energy. This person is breaking your heart too much. 
It's the physical probably, but look, you can't even trust them. You have somebody you can't trust who's very good in the bedroom, but you can't trust them. Um, and you're holding on, you're holding on and you're really, uh, it's still in your energy. Now, some of you may not be holding on. You may be like, what is she talking about? I'm not holding on to anybody. I want the new love. Well, I don't know what this is then. What am I reading? The air? This is the tower. Ten of swords, death, three of swords. This is all talking about breakup, ghosting, you sort of still in that pain energy, lack of trust, seven of swords, one of the worst cards ever. But again, ace of swords could be a new beginning, but again, new beginning with somebody who does not put you first. You've literally told this person that you're not a priority. They've treated you that way. You've been in your head about them. They're going to come right back and talk to you and it's conflict again. So your summer is going to be filled with argumentation. <laughs> Um, but I saw somebody coming, but I didn't see you looking their way. Why? Let the wheel turn in your favor, Leo. Look, if somebody seems like potential, look, please look their way. Okay. You can still change your cards. It doesn't have to be like this. The cards are saying, look, you can be in love, but you're not looking in the right way. You're still looking at the past. You're still looking at somebody who gives you this kind of stress. No, you, the minute you see that person we saw today, Leo, you need to look. And grab them and say, yes, it's me. Beep, beep, I'm here. That's my Uber, my spiritual Uber. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your talk, everybody. Stick around. Uh, there's always a bonus extra reading and a motivational talk at the end of these videos. Leo's was running over. Let's have a look at yours. Who's coming and who's going in your life, Virgo? Welcome to my existing schnookums. This is schnookums land. If you're not one of us, press the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Virgo, what is going on? This summer looks like your summer. Summer of love. Woo! Zaddy. Yes, or mommy. I don't know. I need an equivalent. Mother. Um, oh, my God. Are you going to compete for somebody's love and attention? No, ma'am. We will not have that for you. Somebody, yeah, somebody is very hot here and people are competing. Yeah, it depletes you a little bit to have to compete for this person's love and attention. Since when are we doing that? Competition. Conflict. See? Conflict. Who's going to be the big... Oh, what is this? The Hunger Games? Oh my God, the chariot coming out for real? This is like an umpire at a game. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this, for real. Look at it. This is social energy, celebration, people just gathering. And I and I felt it already. This is Alexa. Welcome. No, not Alexa. I'm sorry. This is not Alexa. This is Tarot Alexa. It's kind of like my assistant. Anything I say, it reads me now. Doesn't let me do the reading anymore. Uh, you, I guess you will win. Six of Wands shows you winning. But that's not. That's a little bit crazy, don't you think? What is what what competition are we talking about? I'm trying to find out who's coming and who's going in your love life, Virgo. And it's saying that, well, there's somebody here. It's definitely picking up on somebody. Look at that person. Uh very it's a it's a very fun, playful connection. Yeah. You you guys could really make something of this, I think. I think so. Uh because I think you're slowly moving away from the dead end energy, the person or whatever that broke your heart and coming into the fullness of yourself, stopping overthinking that that other loser uh and just finally accepting how uh how strong you are don't hold on to the past i see some of you doing that and also don't hold on to envy but there are a lot of people who are surrounding someone whom you are interested in and it just to me it's funny though i think it makes for a playful summer because you have so many major arcana on your side i told you so you you like somebody who looks good don't you King of Wands energy, ooh, you like that player player. Male or female, somebody here looks really good. Other people are interested in this person. No wonder there's so much competitive energy. I'm like, what are you competing about? Yeah, well, they have eyes for you. Somebody has eyes for you. So I know, I see, I know there's a lot of, yeah, this is player energy. I can't lie to you though. Who is this? I'm trying to figure out whom you're interested in. <laughs> Because this is also the star card. This is like celebrity energy. This is somebody who's very hot, very good looking. Um, but I do see this. These are good cards for you either way, though. All jokes aside, I mean, come on. You've got the chariot, the lovers, the star, the empress, and the wheel of fortune. These are all major arcana cards signaling, sing, uh, signaling good fortune. 
Um, with the Ace of Swords, I think you could meet somebody new and I did see a knight. Um, I don't really want this knight for you because this won't be stable. Like this might be somebody you meet and it's, it doesn't last. It's like kind of, you know, it's just there to, you know, take your energy off the past um, and, and have you investing in yourself and feeling better healing and all that. I do see this brand new beginning in love, but I think it could start out a little bit small and then slowly but surely, if you still want to compete for your... <laughs> got all this competition here but the, whoever it is you're interested in there's somebody very good looking your summer is very hot let's let's be honest you're going to be having a very hot summer uh lots of competition with somebody that you're very interested in but also you having a really good joyous time uh this is a lot of partying and celebration getting you out of your shell and having you fall a little bit in love let's see how it lasts though let's see how it you know how long this this person lasts uh because I, you know, you're going to get their attention. So let's see if it's sustained. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. Stick around, everybody. End of the video. There's always a bonus extra reading for every sign. And <laughs> yeah, motivational chat. Chat with China. Hello, Libras. How are you doing today? This is Schnookum's Land. Everybody who is my existing Schnook, how are you? Day 26 of the 30-day uh, tarot challenge. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's have a look. Who's coming and going? Oh, who's coming and going? What? The Empress card. Okay, finally, Libra, you're getting a dynamite reading. Who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer? Let's have a look. The Empress is you, by the way, in tarot. Um, it signals a lot of abundance, pregnancy, fulfillment, growth, expansion. So you're going, th you're going through a transformation because this is very single. Nine of Pentacles is talking about you being literally single, independent. Um, so a lot of you have been single for a while. Like even if you've had a person, you've not been in a connection, relationship, actual fruitful relationship that gets you to the next phase in a long time. Hopefully we see the chariot to take you there. Um, cause I don't want you to be stuck when you have this beautiful Empress energy. Um, yeah, I mean, you're going somewhere. So some of you will be traveling or moving. Um, some of you might get into, mm, I don't know, these are apps kind of, but mm, let's see what happens. The summer is showing up here. So let's just keep shuffling. Uh, cause it is talking about the summer. It's talking about some of you moving or going away, creating distance somehow. Um, O M. You're the only sign so far that has pulled this devil card. So do you know what? Your beauty is going to be very mesmerizing. You know, empress and devil. Uh, that's, wow, that's a lot of bedroom energy. What are you going to, how are you going to have solo single energy and then about to reproduce? What is going on? Oh, yeah. This. what's at the bottom oh my goodness some of you are going to get out the house and when you get out the house look 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 what the three of cups become oh what you you beautiful you beautiful skank show me your ways do you know that expect listen if you've been single for a long time you're going to meet somebody Soon, this summer, this could be your baby daddy or baby mama. Sorry for shaking the camera. I think I'm getting a little, wow. Ooh, this took me oh, to completely off guard. This was not where the story was going. It said you were leaving. I said, okay, maybe when they leave, they'll regroup, self-develop. I was going to talk about self-development, especially, especially because this is a self-development card. I saw this card and I said, that's odd. Because this is talking about, I said, something has to follow if you do this and this. You can't do empress and devil and no results, no connection, no like, you know, because this is really a lot of reproductive energy. So now I started getting juicier saying, you're getting out, you're partying, somebody, celebration, meeting somebody. Look, look how wealthy the person is. I don't know if it's materially wealthy or wealthy spiritually, but that person is quite solid. That is, woo, especially with the, oh, empress, what is going on? <gasps> Winning? So this person likes to travel as well. Yeah, I think if you like to travel, you're definitely um, pulling a traveler. I don't think you see this coming. Yeah, I didn't either. I'm not surprised to see the tower card. I was going to say, I, I, you know, I wonder if we'll see the tower card because it's too much of a shock. Um, I, the reason you don't see this coming is because you've dealt with bozos. 
just complete and utter. Look, look, look what you let these bozos do to your heart. Look, for what? They weren't even up to, <laughs> they didn't even deserve, look, clowns. You see that juggling? Clowns. And you still were stalking them. Was it Libra? Yes, I always remember. Libra lingers long in Libra's love life. That's the alliter alliteration. You linger, okay? Before you were New England, weren't you? Now you are now you are lingering. So don't settle and don't linger, okay? That's I think that's your advice because some of you are still in your heart of hearts hoping that somebody who is just really toxic still contacts you because you're so sweet. Listen, you will have a lot of physical activity, okay? It's coming. If you haven't had it, oh well, look at all the juices spilling. Rated G, of course, but I'm just telling you the truth. With this devil card, uh, you're coming out of this, honey. You're coming out of this hermit mode, going into this magician mode, manifesting a new beginning over here. And I told you that somebody's very, very patient. Ooh, very nice. Even if you're a guy, very patient um, person is coming towards you. Gentleman energy, somebody who's shy a bit, but vi commands a lot of money and power. Oh, victory. Didn't I tell you I was hoping the chariot will take you to the next phase? Yeah, it came out, came out a little too late for me to really give it as much credence. Um, but yeah, you have, you really have some healing that you're still doing, but it's, it's on its way out. You only really have really three of swords and two of pentacles. It's really not that bad. You got some conflict here, but once that's cleared, you have a sudden change. It's bringing you closer and closer to, uh, well, kids, if you want it, but really love soulmate energy as well, coming especially out of a single solo independent phase uh, and possibly attracting somebody this summer, especially, right? Sun card is my summer card who loves to move and you might move as well or meet them in transit. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Stick around, everybody. End of the video. There's always a bonus extra reading. It comes after Sagittarius and a motivational chat chats with china hello everybody hello to my existing schnookums this is schnookums land we are shuffling the cards today to find out who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer scorpio um if you're not one of us hit the schnookums button that's the subscribe button that'll give you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts scorpio you feel like you messed up somewhere you messed up in love with somebody um and you feel like you deserve some of the uh the pain and horror that came from that, and you don't. I'm going to tell you that right now. Please, please forgive yourself and move on. Because when you do, you allow other people to admire you. When you beat down on yourself, other people feel like, oh, okay, is this a place I'm supposed to beat down on? And no, 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 this is not a place anybody's supposed to beat down on. Feel free to cut people off who put you down, who don't speak to you in the manner in which they should, or who make you feel badly for being sensitive about anything. You seem to have been arguing a lot. Okay, so we're trying to find out who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer. And I think the person that needs to go is somebody you're arguing with a lot because that person is blocking. Look at this brand new beginning in love you have. So beautiful. So beautiful. Who is that? See, now my curious behind. I have to shuffle and find out. I mean, I see some people. But they, they, these are not... Um, no, these people are not... I'm not seeing the person. Let me see. Show me the person. There's some haters in your space that the cards want to point out. Yeah. Scorpio, why would anybody be hating on you? Somebody's blocking. Look at look look who look whom I'm seeing for you. So this is you, Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. And this is your person. So you definitely have somebody coming in. I don't know if this is, this feels already like an existing person. The reason, only reason I say that, of course, it could be new again, Ace of, Ace of Cups. But again, I look at all the cards, not just one card, right? I have to look at the entire positioning. It seems like you have a connection with somebody here. The problem is, it's either somebody that you haven't cut off is still in your energy and causing you conflict, or you have, yeah, mm -hmm, you have haters. You have haters. What, what, how can you have... I thought you guys were all sweet on this channel. And I know I always try to tap into the energy of people who are watching. But somebody here is toxic to you and your connections 
you need to leave that person alone because this person is not a friend. I feel, yeah, I kind of felt like it was an older person, if I'm honest, because why is the emperor here? I felt like it was like a parental figure, but it could even be a friend. It could be a cousin, it could be anybody. But the point is, you, you don't have, there's somebody in your midst who's not wishing, like, again, family coming up. That's why I think it's a family member, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a friend that's like family, whatever, but it's somebody in your past. And I feel like that person's opinions, I don't know. I don't know if you can, can you, do you need them? Can't you help yourself? Because with that person's opinions, I don't, it feels like it's a block. It feels like it's toxicity. It feels like it makes you doubt yourself, get insecure. I think you need to cut the person off. It's just too much. There's hateration energy showing up here. You shouldn't have the devil in this kind of reading with eight of swords, five of wands. You know, then you have five of swords. No, it's a hateration energy. Leave that person. You see you walking away. Again, I don't know who it is. It looks like a father figure or somebody older or somebody who's into traditional stuff and doesn't want you to take risks. But you feel your energy goes down and depletes around that person, whoever it is. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's great. Because either way, I do see you... Um, if the person is going, that's good, whoever that person is. But I do see you with somebody coming as well. And that's what's important. Somebody coming, look, King and Queen of Cups love this couple. They're so like playful and in love. So you're attracting somebody this summer. Mm -hmm. But I think there's competition. So be careful not to really like try to be with somebody who's already taken, okay? And get out the house so that you can actually meet them. This summer, everybody has to be out. You guys, you have to be out. You cannot watch Tower 24-7. You have to go out. Otherwise, this, this may not happen. Sudden change in your lifestyle as well coming slowly but surely. I see some nights, so I know that people will approach you. But I think you have to... You not just leave your house, but some of you leave your whole locale, your childhood area. If you're still there, time to go, baby. Time to go. All right, let's do Sag, our last sign. Welcome, Sag. You are watching day 26 of our 30-day tarot challenge. How are you guys doing? This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. We're going to do who's coming and who's going in your love life this summer, Sagittarius. Let's have a peek. Let's have a peek. Uh, if you're new here, press the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Let's have a look, Sag. Um, wow, love that for you. Like, really, really, really love that for you. Some of you are already recognizing the need to stop the woe is me, the need to stop hanging on, trying to make a decision about something, and the need to move forward. And I do love that for you. The reason why I love the full card for you is because that's a blank slate. So this summer, you're being challenged to start on a blank slate. The universe is like, hey, Sag, would you like to start with a brand new beginning, a leap of faith? Because some of you were scared that like, hey, you know, if I stop talking to my person, if I stop talking to somebody whom I've always been caught up on, um, maybe I'll just be alone. It'll take me a while to kind of find somebody new. So um, I don't want to give that up. So universe, please. Let me just kind of be here. And the universe is like, look, I'm giving you an opportunity to run. Are you going to take it? Or are you going to be blocked? Because somebody is a dead end connection. We wouldn't pull this card if they weren't. You've been waiting for some change. Have you seen any changes? Have you gone to the next level? Or are you still confused? Seven of Cups option. Are they cooperative? Or are you left by your lonesome to take action by yourself? Do you feel like you're in a connection by yourself? You have to ask yourself these questions because what the universe wants to do is make you a deal okay they want to be benevolent to you deal or no deal Sagittarius that's what your cards are essentially saying do you want deal one sword or no deal the other swords because some of you are blocked like this which direction is it going to be you also you also have the two of wands energy which direction is it going to be they want you here your time with somebody Maybe up. Uh, and that may be the person who goes this summer because somebody is approaching you. Now, some of you are going to see somebody approaching you and you're still going to be stuck on the old person like, wait, but no, I like old dingling. I want new dingling or binge, bajingling. <laughs> Sorry, it's really late. I had to record this for you guys because I didn't want to, uh, you know, drop out of my challenge. Um, so whatever comes out of my mouth, I can't. Whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my assistant's mouth. I told you I introduced to you, not Alexa, but Tarot Alexa. Mwah. Tarot Alexa, say hi. Say hi. Tarot Alexa is saying hi in their uniform today. 
Sarah Alexa is wearing their uniform, but they're telling you, as I told you five minutes ago, I already said to you that you want to still hang on. And I, I already told you, you are marching towards a dead end. Did I not? Tower card, death card. What do you think this means? Okay. No, but China, I really, but I like my person. Can you read some more? Sure I can. Sure I can, babe. Let's see. I told you somebody new wants to come. But you want me to read for the old person? I can do that too. See? What happened? I said, I'll help you read the new person. What happened? The, the old person, what happened? New is forcing itself out. Ace means new. It means brand new beginning. See the full card? That's the strong, it's a very strong position, a very strong row. Okay? Everything here is telling you, hey, Sag, 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 wake up. Play, be more playful, be looser, release it. Don't be upset. This temper has to go. This arguing and blockness has to go. Dead end has to go. I want to send you some love. Are you open to it? I said, okay, let's keep reading. What do the cards do? They sent me Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new begin. Look, are we making this up? Are you not watching this live? You're watching this live, right? Okay. You see, you see this King of Cups? You see, you see this cup approaching you from a new person. Okay. This is not old. Per this is old. See this King of Cups? You see, who, whom does he match? The queen, right? Okay. No, but read me my old person. I want to stay stuck. I want to be hurt. I like being hurt. It makes me feel human. Yes, we've all been there, darling. But for the, the universe has made a very bold statement to you. And it's saying that this is a reset button. Boop. It's saying that this is your blank slate. It's saying, I'm opening the door for you to run. If you don't run, I'm going to close it. See this door? You see this pathway? Th these, these two of wands? That's a pathway card. It's planning. Run through the door. Run through the door because you're settling for less. That is a... <laughs> Yesterday I called Libra New England because they be settling. I said, what are you, New England? Because you be settling started calling them 13 colonies because they were settling. Now you're doing the same. You want to settle. Even as I'm telling you, hey, somebody new is coming. Some of you, your hearts are still, you're still fiending for somebody. It's still there. Yeah. You just, you know, it's hard to let go of them. Something here was really good for you. You were in love with that person almost. Even if there was conflict, you wanted to manifest a higher level, a new beginning, take to go to a new stage. But that connection, yeah, you see it here, it's great, and that's you, King of Wands, you know, great energy, possibly a lot of chemi chemistry and all that, but it's it's got to go because it's a block now, it's a block, and uh, you just have to be faithful that uh, you will get more than the crumbs that you've been getting, and you'll go through a pathway that will lead you to love, and they're giving you a blank slate, this is a, this is almost like an Amex card, Okay, this is an Amex card, Sag. Take this Amex card and run. Run towards this brand new beginning because the king will always do what? Meet his queen. King and queen of cups, the most beautiful couple. They're very bonded and uh, it doesn't matter your gender or sexuality, but this is predicting that you will be in a connection or a relationship. But I don't think it's with somebody that you are currently with. Okay, darling, let's move on. All right, bonus reading. If you have somebody in your mind that you were wondering about, wondering if you'd ever hear from them again, uh, let's do that. Are you ever going to hear from that person again? Or is it done, 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 done? What are we doing? Done, done, done? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Here we go. Skeletons never just want to stay in the closet. Oh, my God. Can you... Guys... Why are your people resurfacing? Oh my, you, go, you gotta be kidding me. I, all right, no comment. Oh no, you, oh no. After causing all this waiting, conflict, you know, uh, <laughs> defensiveness, this part, you have somebody who's gonna like come and be like, oh, it's the universe who brought us together and, Look at Wheel of Fortune chat. All the major arcana cards just coming out. These are all like the most excellent cards you can get. This is soulmate energy, reconciliation, this person. No wonder some of you in the readings today were like, no, read for my person. Because you still have hopes. And maybe you just feel it kind of psychically or something. But clearly this person is still manifesting you, still wants you in their life, still, oh, geez. You gotta be kidding me. This is all yes, 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 yes. 
This is like, yes, 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 yes. Even yes, this is mezzo. This is mm, conflict, but this is yes, this is yes. That's crazy. What's my motivational talk today? I don't know. My motivational talk today, let's, okay, we'll keep it cheeky. Uh, it's nothing deep today. I'm just going to say, listen, you know, and I've, I've really had this conversation so many times with my girlfriends, but I, I don't know if there's a formula to this whole love thing. All right. And, uh, the only thing I can say is if you're looking, you know, it's cool, it's cute, you know, watching tarot and this and that and the other, but, um, you, you, you have to, I, listen, even if you just, I love my house, like no man's business, but, um, you gotta get out there. You know, it's just a probability thing. Um, and it's also, I wish I could show you guys my vision board. It's like four pages. I did it on Canva. Oh no, I shouldn't have, oh, I should have given, I shouldn't have given them free advertising. Because my vision board is so beautiful and I did it for free on Canva. It looks stunning. There we go. No sponsorship, but what are we going to do? Beautiful, stunning vision board. And that's the only formula I can think of to give you is to create your vision board on Canva. God forbid. Why am I, why am I giving these people free plugs? <laughs> no, do it wherever you want. Even if you do it physically. Uh, I'm, I'm only teasing, but just do it however. Get that vision board going and also just go out um, very frequently too. And not to places that, um, you know, you know, uh, aren't going to work. If you can also partner with somebody that's very helpful. I've noticed that when people walk in twos, uh, especially as women, um, they attract more attention. But like if you're by yourself, somebody says, Oh no, if you're a woman by yourself, you know, then people will come and talk to you. Sometimes you could be intimidating. Some of us have a uh, RBF. I want this video to process quickly, so I'm not even going to say the B word, but we have resting B word face. And um, so find, you know, another woman who's uh, not weird and see if she has the same goals as you this summer, if you're looking for summer love. Uh, if you're a guy, you know, do the same. Go out with your guys. And uh, I don't know about those dating apps. I really don't. I mean, I'm an advocate for searching everywhere, but it's not for everybody. And uh, there's something to be said about plucking people in person because you can watch them, you can people watch, you can, you know. Um, but I don't think you're gonna get this person by staying in the house, not this summer. I mean, even in Europe, it's hot. You know what I mean? Like, don't know, don't stay inside this summer. Go, go out, go out. Your person's out there. So you can come back to the tarot later on and read for a different person. Because a lot of your readings were just saying, yeah, it's done. It's a wrap with somebody in your head. Now, I know we did the bonus reading and we saw that somebody that you already know is coming back. But even for that person to be reattracted to your energy, I think they have to know that you're having fun and you're good without them life is so short and i know you know cost of living is really ridiculous and this war in russia has made everybody you know just go crazy on gas and you know i don't know what's going on darling i don't i left news for a reason but all i know is that it's you know people can barely afford to you know breathe air these days and then some of the luxury stores have the audacity to sell luxury air, premium air, you know, 500 pounds a sniff. What is going on? We are getting completely out of control in this society. So I know that it's very difficult sometimes to go out every night, all the time, meet people. But I do think that the vibration is different when you can feel energy in person as opposed to swiping or as opposed to just continuing to be stuck on one person because uh, it becomes an addiction and it becomes the thing that almost depresses you do you know that sometimes it's like you know just because we like or love somebody we stay there we're stuck on the person and we're not functioning as well as we used to before we met the person right it's like before you met the person you were a bit happier you were a bit more joyous 
freer. Now it seems like your every thought is whether or not this person will approve of you. And that's not the way to live. The way to live is to be free. And when you're free and joyous and you go out there and you take your chances and you mingle with other people, you start to attract energy to yourself and people want to know what's up. How come you're so happy? Give us some of that. Now, of course, don't attract any more deviants, right? And don't settle um, you know, I know that people have deadlines and biological clocks and they forget all that. Just go out and have a good time for once. Be a summer love, you know, even if that love is yourself. And I know it's not a deep talk today, but sometimes you just need to just get out and live life. Your love life starts with you because your love starts with you. That's the love of your life. It's the love that you give to yourself. Have that as your love life. And then other things will follow and fall in place.